This problem states that an urn contains 32 red, 27 white, and 33 blue marbles. A child selects two marbles at random without replacement from the urn. What is the probability that both marbles are blue? Okay, so first thing, because the child is selecting two marbles, we need two different spots, each with its own probability. One for the first selection and second for the second selection. So if we're selecting two marbles, we need to have two different probabilities, which at the end will get multiplied together. Now, what do we want them to be? We want them to be both blue. Now, we know that the probability of any event is going to be the number of successes. So however we define a success, in this case, a success is any blue marble, divided by the total number. So the first thing we have to do is we've got to figure out what is the total number of marbles. Okay, we got 32 red, we have 27 white, and we have 33 blue marbles. So if we take 32 plus 27 plus 33, that gives us 92 total marbles. That'll be our denominator. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, our first selection. We want the first selection to be a blue marble. So how many successes do we have? Well, we have 33 blue marbles, so we have 33 successes out of a total, a total of 92. So our first probability is going to be 33 out of 92. Okay, now what happens? Once one marble gets taken out, and it's without replacement, so once you take out the marble, we don't put it back. So instead of having 92 marbles, we took out one of the blue marbles, so we only have 91 total marbles. And instead of having 33 blue marbles, we now only have 32 blue marbles, because we took out one. So our second probability, instead of 33, we now have 32 blue marbles, and instead of 92, we have a total of 91 marbles. Now to cal calculate this probability, um, we're going to write that as a fraction of fractions. That's, you know, I don't recommend that. That's more complicated. So what I recommend is writing all these answers as decimals. So we have 33 divided by 92, and you can use desmos.com or whatever you want to use, times 32 divided by 91. And that's going to give you 0.1261 as the probability. Which means that if a child selects two marbles, then approximately 13, so 0.126, that's going to round to about 13. So approximately 13 out of 100 times, the child will select two blue marbles. This problem states that every cereal box has a gift inside, but you can't tell from the outside what the gift is. The store manager assures you that 23 of the 58 boxes have a secret decoder ring. If you select two boxes of cereal, what is the probability that they both have the secret decoder ring? Okay, so now let's go over probability. Um, first thing is that for every selection that you make, you need to have a probability. In this case, we're making two selections, we're, we're choosing two boxes. So we need to have a probability for box number one and for box number two. Okay, now probability of any given event is going to be the number of successes in that event, however, however we define a success, divided by the total number. So in this case, we have 23 successes because we have 23 boxes that have a ring and the 58 is going to be the total. So the number of successes is 23 out of 58. So for the first selection, we have 23 boxes that have a ring out of a total of 58. Now, once one box gets chosen, what happens? Instead of 58 boxes, we now only have 57 because we took out one box. And instead of 23, we now have 22 boxes that have a decoder ring. So we're going to multiply this by 22 out of 57. Okay, so we want to have uh, this as a decimal answer to at least three decimal places. So take 23 divided by 58 in your calculator. 
Uh, multiply that by 22 divided by 57, and that's going to give you 0. 0.1531 as the answer. So uh, if you do this 100 times, then about 15 out of the 100 times, you'll get the scenario where both of the boxes have the secret decoder ring. A jar contains six red marbles numbered one through six and 10 blue marbles numbered one through 10. A marble is drawn at random from the jar find the probability that the mar marble is blue or odd numbered. Now the very first thing we have to do, and this is super important for this problem, is we need to uh, list out the red marbles and the blue marbles. So we have six red marbles, numbers one through 10. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we have 10 blue marbles numbered one through 10. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we got six red marbles and we have 10 blue marbles. First thing you wanna do with this problem is label all those by the color. Okay, so these are our reds, these are our blues. Now it says find the probability that the marble is blue or odd numbered. Now the keyword or triggers the or formula. And what is the or formula? It's given here. Blue or odd numbered is going to be the probability of choosing a blue marble plus the probability of choosing an odd numbered, but then some marbles get double counted. So we always subtract off the intersection. In other words, we subtract off the marbles that are both blue and odd numbered. Okay, so how many blue marbles do we have? We have, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 10 blue marbles out of a total of 16. So the probability of selecting a blue marble is going to be 10 out of 16. Now, how many odd numbered marbles do we have? So let's count all the odd numbers. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight marbles that are odd numbered. So if you select a blue marble, it's a success. If you select an odd number, that is also a success. Okay, but then some of the marbles got double counted. Notice that we first counted the blue marbles, then we counted the odd ones, but then the ones that are blue and odd numbered, they got counted twice, but it's the same marble. So we have to subtract off the marbles that are blue and odd numbered. So we have one, two, three, four, five out of 16 that are both blue and odd numbered. So if we add 10 plus eight, that's 18, 18 minus five, that's going to be 13 out of 16. So, 13 out of 60 mar 16 marbles are marbles that are either blue or odd numbered. The only ones that are not are these three, the two, the four, or the six. These are red and they're even, so they don't fall in either category. They're not blue, so they don't get counted as a success. They're not odd numbered, so they don't get counted as a success. So uh, other than those three, every other marble is either blue or it's odd numbered. Therefore, we will count that as a success. Okay, so you draw one card from a standard deck. Now, because you're choosing one card, you only have one probability. What is the probability of selecting a king or a queen? So let's take a look at the word or and remind ourselves, what is the formula for the word or? And the formula is this. If you have the probability of A or B, that's going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of a and B. Okay, so in this case, event A is choosing a king, and event B is going to be choosing a queen. The word or gets replaced with a plus sign, minus uh, the probability of A and B. Okay, so we got probability of A that's a king, probability of B that's uh, a queen, and then minus probability that you choose a card that's both a king and a queen. Okay, so let's think about how many kings do we have. We have um one two three four we got four kings out of a total of 52 cards the, the word or is plus because we're increasing the number of successes how many queens do we have we have one two three four so we have four more queens that's a total of 
4 plus 4 is 8 out of 52. Now we got to think about how many cards are both a king and a queen. So a card being a king and a queen, those, those are mutually exclusive. We, a card can't be a king and a queen at the same time. So the probability is going to be 0 out of 52. So if you add these up, 4 plus 4 is 8, minus 0 is 8, and that'll be 8 out of 52. And I do recommend just leaving these as um, unreduced fractions. Okay, part B says, what is the probability of selecting a face card or a 10? All right, so once again, anytime you have the word or, that refers to this addition formula, P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. So in this case, uh, event A is that we get a face card, so we want to find the probability of, of getting a face card. Or means plus the probability of getting a 10 minus the probability of getting a face card and 10. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in. So how many face cards do we have? So face cards uh, are any cards that have a face, so the, the jacks, queens, and kings. So how many of those do we have? We have a total of 3, 6, 9, 12. We have a total of 12 face cards out of 52. Okay, plus how many 10s do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4 10s. So we're going to add 4 more cards to that. Because if you don't select a face card, but you select a 10, that's still a success. So that's going to be 4 out of 52. Now, how many cards are both a face card and a 10? Once again, these are mutually exclusive. Cards can't be both a face card and a 10 at the same time. So that'll be 0 out of 52. So we have 12 plus 4 is 16 minus 0. That'll be 16 out of 52, which is going to be our answer. All right, part C says, what is the probability of selecting a spade or a heart? A spade or a heart. Okay, so once again, let's take a look at the, our deck and let's think about how many spades do we have. Okay, so spades are these uh, the, the the cards in the first row over here, and we have thirteen spades. Okay, so probability of selecting a spade is going to be thirteen out of fifty-two. Or is plus how many hearts do we have? We have a total of. 13 hearts, so that'll be another 13 out of 52. It's 26. Then you got to, anytime you got the, the word or, we have the addition formula. We always have to subtract off the cards that are both uh, spades and hearts. So how many cards are both spades and hearts? None. They're mutually exclusive. A card can't be both a spade and a heart at the same time. So that'll be 0 out of 52. So 13 plus 13 is 26 minus 0. That's going to be 26 out of 52. All right, and then lastly for this section, uh, for this, this problem, what is the probability of selecting a red card or a black card? So let's think about how many red cards do we have. Um, if you take count the total number of red cards, we have all the hearts and we have all the diamonds. So that's a total of 26 red cards. Or as plus, how many black cards do we have? So we have 13 spades and we have 13 clubs. So that's 26 black cards. Now, how many cards are both red and black? Because remember, you always have to subtract off the intersection. So minus the number of cards that are both red and black, and that's zero. No card can be both red and black at the same time. So 26 plus 26, that's 52 out of 52, which gives you 1 as the answer. Now, why is it 1? 1 means 100%. So if you reach into a deck and select a card, every card is going to be either red or black. So the probability of getting a red card or a black card is 100%.